And next I want to explain between toggle and momentary. Now, you move the cursor over here to momentary, and then, or, or toggle rather, I'll talk to momentary first. Now, momentary is the way that you naturally react. You hit a pad, let's say, or you play the note, and then when you hit that note, it plays the sound. Releasing the note turns the sound off. It sends a note off information back to the door of the digital audio workstation or to your modular keyboard you're using to send our uh, limited commands to. Now that's how normally it works, of course. And toggle means that, if I go to toggle here, TGL, that means when I hit the note, that means the note is on. And when I hit that key, the note is heard. But it keeps going. When I hit the key again, then the note turns off. That's the toggle method. So, toggle and momentary. Understand the two. Well, next we're going to talk about pressure behavior and how it works for pads. Okay? Now, I'm going to go to this field right over here. As you can see, we have several options. The first option is off. So, this turns off the pressure behavior. The second option is CPR. And this is our channel pressure. Okay? This is after touch information that is transmitted through the MIDI channel. The next option we have here is PPR, which is our polyphonic pressure. So, now if you select PPR, each pad will transmit after touch information individual. So that means each pad is individual with its after touch trans um, transmission. So I hold this pad down here. Hold this pad. I hold it lightly. See? Not too much pressure. More pressure. So what's going on here is that it's transmitting that pressure according to uh, each individual pad. If I'm in PPR. If I'm in CPR, all pads assigned will uh, to that particular mid channel will transmit after touch information as a group. So that I mean no matter what, all the pads will react in the same way if I select that. And that's what will happen. That's this is how pressure behavior works. So you want to make sure you have that set up properly when you are going to set your parameters up for your pads. Just had note. Now that was note for pads, right? I hit pad 12, last, of course, as you know. Next, I'm going to talk about program change parameters. All right? We're going to turn the value dial, and now we have program change. Okay? I'll press enter, and right here we have the data that we can actually change. Of course, as usual, we have our MIDI channel data. From port A to B, channels 1 through 16 in each port. It's pretty simple. Let's have a program change. Now, a program change is a program change message. It can be sent out to, let's say, change a particular um, uh, sample set. Let's say certain samples are going to be on program one. Or we'll have instrument, maybe a bass line or a bass sound will be on program two. Well, I can send that data through that pad. Now, next we have our M bank. With the cursor over here, or well, better known as the bank M field. Now, this is the transmission of the most significant bit. It's called the MSB, a most significant bit of information. And we use the cursor right here, these plus or minuses here, toggle back and forth to them, and we can, of course, move the dial up, see? But once it's here and it's an off, they're both off. See that? the bank M and the bank L. Now, bank L is the least significant bit of information is being sent. So once I turn this up, this goes to zero automatically. 
and I can move this up as far as I want to move it up to a possible 126. Now here I move the cursor over again, I can move it behind it, see, so I can make the range of the amount of bit that's being sent to it. So we have the least and the most. 